yes. Hate You Give. Not sure what it's about. I think it's something about a police shooting or something. Mm. I can't. I, saw, I read something on it, but I'm not, not sure what I saw. Just saw the thumbnail. I was like, okay, let me check this out. So we're going to check out this trailer, and then we'll have some discussion after we watch it because we kind of, I really don't know what it is. Right. So um, without further ado, The Hate You Give. Man, you come down me for my music, but you listen to this old stuff. Oh, stuff. Oh, better get a better one. Sweet of the juice. I got a boyfriend. Yeah, her. It's all good. Really? We've been together a whole lot of stuff. We got time. My name is Star. Two us. Daddy made me that. Garden Heights. Mama and Daddy says our life is here because our people are here. We got, we got Mr. Ruben's barbecue, barbecue, Mr. Lewis's barbershop, and Daddy's store. The high school is where you go to get jumped, high, or pregnant. We don't go there. Williamson is another world, so when I'm here, I'm star version two. Yo, those kids are lit. Basically, Williamson star doesn't give anyone a reason to call her ghetto, and I hate myself for doing it. Until the weekend comes around. I get those goosebumps every time. What's up? Are you bad? No, no, you be hanging with all the white kids. Out of the car. Yo, stop. Go back where he told you. Go back. I'm not playing. Go back. Go. What did you do? Today, Garden Heights is reeling after the shooting of a 17-year-old black teenager by a white police officer. We live in a complicated world. It doesn't seem that complicated to me. Violence, brutality. It's the same story, just a different name. When I attack the impact, it's real tactful. The back cat waited and sat, debated. It's best if you don't talk to five. A lot of familiar faces. <laughs> it's about more than just color. It's about black people, poor people, everybody at the bottom. I need to speak for him. You used to think we could never achieve the inconceivable. We don't belong, but we can't understand. Can I see balls? When you're ready to hey. talk, you talk. Don't ever let nobody make you be quiet. I don't mean you start by accident. All right, uh, the hate you give, the hate you give. Um, what you think about that trailer? I like it. Yes, yeah, uh, kind of a lot of stuff that's going on now. Uh, you was thinking, oh, 20th Century Fox made this, right? Yeah. yeah, I was thinking like you know, major studios want to stay away from all that, you know. Yeah. Um, uh, I don't know that actress. She's a little cutie. <laughs> yeah, I, I will say it's it's an interesting time. For a major studio to be telling to make to be making this movie, yeah, you know, um, definitely. I feel like this movie is probably, if it is what it looks to be, more necessary than it has been. Mm -hmm. You know, but um, I do worry that the me you know with this kind of movie, the message can get lost easily. Yeah. So that's really my only worry on this. I have no, re you know, there's nothing to say one way or another how that's gonna go. But th these kinds of issues, you know, of, you know, what, what you know, aspects of your race are acceptable in modern society, yada, yada, mm -hmm. you know, and it's, def and I think uh, the avoidance of that issue has gotten us to the point that we're at today. Yeah. So I think it's definitely about time someone actually told that side of the story instead of just, you know, these people hit are always going to hate you because you look like this or you got to be better than that or mm -hmm. you can't just, you know, it, like you have to address all sides of the issue. So. I especially like that line, yo, those kicks are lit. <laughs> <laughs> all right, little dirty uh, dude. <laughs> sure, kid. Sure. But no, but, uh, no, I mean, it looked good, man. I'm I'm, I'm liking the, the young actors and I don't know if this is based on a true story, but I mean, pick a story. Yeah, I mean, shit, right. this happens so many times. I and mean, 
I'm, I'm not gonna lie. The second old boy reached for that hairbrush, I know he should have known better. Than it's that, like, <laughs> bro, you ain't ignorant. <laughs> yeah, I mean, they showed he was smart enough to put his hands on the dashboard when he when he yeah. uh. So why are you gonna reach for some? You know why you you know? But I mean, I ain't saying that. that of course, that don't make it your fault, but but you know, like because it, it it was one of those things I was I was taught growing up. It was like. No matter how right you are, you don't give them an excuse. Yeah, I know. Um, you know, and I'm trying not to go all political and all that stuff, man. I mean, I think this movie just saying this this stuff happens, you know, yeah. and don't act like it don't. And right. don't keep making excuses and tell, well, if you look at it this way, well, you ain't got to pick no kind of size, man. Yeah. It's just wrong. Murder and, is, and the, you know what I'm saying? I keep trying to remind people, it's like, in our country, specifically right now, it's people go primarily black, black young black men that mm. are getting it. But like, if you're in Russia, then it would be you know, then you can say it's the Serbians that are getting it. You know, mm-hmm. there's a version of this story everywhere in the world, and the point of the story is to say no matter who the victim is, it's wrong. Yeah, I mean, you can say the cop made a mistake or whatever. That's what really makes me mad, though. Where it, 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 if something like that happened, right, the cop make a mistake. Instead of just, I made a mistake. I didn't want to hurt a person, yeah. but I made a mistake and things that had happened. They, take, they don't take culpability and say, well, it could have been this. You know what I'm saying? That yeah. was, that, that's my problem with those situations. It, they always jump, you know, well, why was he doing this? Yeah, why? right, exactly. Instead of saying, okay, he fucked up. He made a mistake. He got to pay the price. Or... Whatever. If you say it was a mistake or um, um, the, something happened, that it got out of my control or whatever, okay. But it just made me mad when they try to flip it and try to say it was somebody else's fault yeah. or whatever instead of just taking responsibility for it. You know what I'm saying? When things like that happen. That's what really pissed me off about those situations. Yeah. Um, but, you know, there's a lot of this stuff. Been in the news lately, um, protesting and all that. This is just kind of like documented, you know. I mean, this is just kind of making a movie about it. What's going on? Um, you know, it's 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 more. It's a lot more than usual, and I guess that's a good thing because stuff like that happened where I come from. You hear about this shit every night. Like every night, somebody got shot by a cop or something like that happened. That happened all the time, and it didn't make the news. Wasn't even. People didn't act like it was nothing, right? right? Except the people that it directly affected. And now it's getting attention. And now they making protests and they talking about this. I'm liking like I'm looking like I, I, I'm glad people noticing it, but please don't act like it's something new. Right. <laughs> it happens Cause, cause all the time. I know for me, my outrage with it isn't even that it happens anymore, because you know it's been that way since I was since I was born. So. As horrible as it is, it, it it does present itself somewhat as a matter of course. Mm. But the fact that it's constantly agreed upon that this shit ain't cool. Yeah. And it still happens every other day, mm. and nothing still comes of it. Yeah. It's just like, <clears throat> I mean, I just I just like I just want to see some culpability. Yeah. That's all I, you know, because you ain't going to stop stuff, you know. Things can easily get out of control. Have responsibility for what you do, you know. And when it and when it does happen, like, cause there are situations, like, I will say, there are situations where you only have so much time to come to a decision about what's going down. I know. And, and in that case, if you in the the police, uh, if you're in a cop uh, position, you don't know if he is reaching for a gun. You right. know what I'm saying? So it's, it gets to a point where you say, "Oh, you wrong to shoot him. I didn't know if he had a gun. I thought he might be reaching." You know? Yeah. Okay. And like to. to to have that moment, like I saw him reaching into, into his waistband, I thought he was holding. Right. I mean, you got to think ha- yeah. you got to protect your life. Right. So, you know what I'm saying? I, I I can't say that a person shouldn't try to protect themselves, but it's just the fact when stuff happened and it's the wrong decision, you have take to respons- own it. Take responsibility for it. Yeah. That's all I'm saying. Yeah. Like, and because that's the thing. Part of your job is making that decision. Yeah. When you make the wrong decision, you bar that job is saying, "I'm I made the wrong call today." Right. But so they saying, it's it's okay to make the wrong decision because um, your life more important than theirs. I mean, right. that, that's kind of what they saying. You know, right. it's like, 
No, nah, man, you just, just take take responsibility for your decisions you make. That's that's all yeah. I'm saying. Yeah. And like I said, I didn't want to get all political and, and talk about cause, cause what's me, going like, on. At that point, you that's how you make it something other than a race issue. Yeah. And I was like, if a white guy reached into his waistband on me, I'm in, in the in the only thing that different between these two situations is the color of the guy doing it. Mm-hmm. I still would have made the same decision. Yeah, I know. So yeah. Uh, that's a that's a whole nother subject for a whole right. nother day, <laughs> and we we a movie podcast where we talk about movies right. and entertainment. But that's entertainment though. Yeah, we're deep uh, dudes, you know. So, <laughs> so all right, man, we're gonna wrap this up. Um, that was almost the name of our channel, by the way. Deep dudes, deep dudes. <laughs> I that's hope our never uh, an option. that's our reaction for the hate you give. Um, Interesting f- picture. Yeah. All right, so we wrapping up the podcast. We don't need to do no outro. All right, we out of here. Peace. <laughs>